it's Mad Dolls, and in today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I was able to get the new roller skating Barbie from Walmart. So, before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe, follow me on all my other social medias. So, a little backstory before we get into it. Harley Quinn is my most favorite, 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 favorite superhero in the world. I have every single Harley Quinn comic book ever made. I just don't really talk about it. My major at college is sequential art, which is the fancy way of saying, making, writing, drawing comic books. My most favorite comic book artist or sequential artist in the world is Amanda Connor. Now, Amanda Connor used to make the Barbie comics and then made the Harley Quinn comics. And now that we have a, a Margot Robbie Barbie that is rollerblading, I think that is the perfect opportunity to make her into a roller derby New 52 Harley Quinn, which is my favorite, 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 favorite version of Harley Quinn. So, I went online and I also purchased the official Barbie Harley Quinn fashion pack that came out, I think in 2018. I've been staring at it and wanting it literally since 2018, cause like it's perfect. So I am gonna put her in this and then paint and DIY and turn her into the new 52 Roller Derby Harley Quinn. Let's unbox. Miss Margot Robbie rollerblading Roller Derby bleh, Harley Quinn Barbie right now. <laughs> Here is Miss Barbara. What, you know, she looks her, her little before moment. <laughs> so the first thing I did was body swap, which in the long run didn't actually work out well, but it's fine, whatever. So first I swapped the bodies of the two duels so that mine could be on a made to move body. And then I decided to paint all the accessories white so that we had a nice clean, even base for when I added the real colors that I want for the accessories. So I used folk art acrylic paint. It was pretty good. I mean, it was cheap it did the job and you know hey that's all we need to do now please ignore my nails because you know I'm DIYing it's gonna get messy and gross so don't look at them or I'll cry so yeah I got all of my supplies just like from craft stores and online and everything and some of it worked better than others so this is me just painting all the accessories like these were so hard to paint the paint did not want to stay it was a nightmare but i made do and in the end it kind of worked at least i think so um so yeah i was just going on with a second coat of the white paint to make sure that everything was perfect and ready for the final coats so then it was time to remove Miss Barbara's face. I went in with some acetone, but it was kind of hard to get her face off. It's one of the like newer printed Barbie faces that is just like near to impossible to take off. So I finally got it and then to get all the little, little pieces out, I went in with a Q-tip to really, really get in there. And now, because this is a Harley Quinn Barbie doll, I am going to be painting her all white. Now, this went good, and it also went bad, as this was my first time, like, literally painting a doll a different color. I used that acrylic paint, and, you know, it took a lot of layers. It took a lot of layers. And then I cut off all of her hair. And then it was time to pull out all the little hair plugs. This was my favorite part. This was so relaxing and so fun to do. And this is my new therapy. And I absolutely loved it so much. Now, obviously I needed to add some more layers of that white paint because, oh girl, it's not, it's not doing. But then I took some tweezers to try to get all those little ooey gooey pluggies out. This was so fun and so relaxing. 10 million out of 10, have to recommend. And then like when you get a big glob of all that gross hair, it is just so incredible and I love it. This is my favorite part. This was so much fun and 10 million out of 10, like I said, recommend. Oh my God, it was so fun. So then after I got out all the little plugs, this is what she looked like. So I went back in with my white paint. 
and everything then had a second coat of all the fun white paint woo so then i got to add the real colors yay so of course she's gonna be mostly black and red and like barely any other colors so it was time to start painting so i started with like the knee pads and the elbow pads and of course i started with her iconic diamonds i used a lot of amanda connor's uh harley quinn comic book covers as a reference i did mix some things add some things but i used like the cover to really just direct me in the right amanda connor harley quinn direction i also painted her little toes and her fingers which i kind of changed in the end but i just wanted to show it because it's cute and then here's her head and it was time to paint her scalp so that when i reroot her it you know it blends and it looks good and it doesn't just look yucky so yeah i had to do it kind of in a very stealthy strategic way because she's got that iconic split dye ta-da so we've got half black and half red and so then i drew my kind of idea that i wanted to do for the face so i drew that in the background inspired by of course amanda connor's artwork but this is what i drew and i started drawing out the face in pencil just like a graphic kind of look thing I don't know um it was great I kind of I kind of ate I fear I ate once more with this face at least I hope it looks good oh my god I hope it looks good and I hope it looks like Amanda Connors so then it was time to color and this is where I started having issues now everybody said use like uh watercolor color pencils and I tried it did nothing <laughs> so I don't know what I was doing wrong um these were really expensive watercolor color pencils that I had to buy for my art college like they were good 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 and so it just was not doing literally anything so I grabbed a different brand and a different kind and I was trying to use this one and it still did nothing so please like let me know what I was doing wrong or like how to get the color pencils to actually like you know work or like do literally anything so then I gave up on the watercolor color pencils and I got out some handy dandy acrylic paint because I was like all right well let's just let's do that so I started going in with the black paint with a very very fine tip teeny tiny itty bitty paintbrush to get all those little nitty gritty beautiful details on Miss Harley Quinn this was also another favorite part of mine it was so fun painting her little face like i really want to do this more often it is just such a blast and toy design is my minor at college so this is kind of you know what i want to do professionally for the rest of my eternity like it is just so fun i loved it it's so relaxing so i at this point have been adding pastels chalk pastels on paint brushes to kind of add the blushing the details and the makeup and now the amanda connor harley quinn she's got some of the best blushing ever 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 and i was just in love i was in love i was having so much fun this is literally my passion i love it so much so then it was time to add her little teeny tiny little itty bitty irises and all the tiny little nitty gritty details of the eye so sorry this is blurry but like i filmed this nine million billion years ago it just took me forever to actually edit it and upload it but yeah i'm doing all the little tiny details she has beautiful bright blue crystal eyes they are just stunning so i wanted to make sure that the eyes were really 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 correct to the amanda connor harley quinn I really want this doll to be on model as much as possible. So here was her abuati. I decided to add some blushing on it as well. Even though it's kind of going to be pretty much covered by all of her clothes and stuff, I still thought that it'd be really cute, especially since Harley has so much blushing on her adorable face that her body would probably also have a whole lot of blushing going on. So yet again, I was just using some chalk pastels 
on a paintbrush and just like I guess dry brushing it onto her lovely body now she does look cracked and busted and dusted and rusted um if anyone has any recommendations on how to paint bodies better yeah let me know I would love that so yeah she started chipping but here she is in her outfit and I mean I fear I ate I fear I ate I kind of really love her I didn't expect for my first like customization to actually be not hideous and horrible and disgusting so now it was reroute time so i got my hair and supplies from Shimmerlocks uh from etsy because i asked everybody on instagram i was like who do i buy hair from because i had no idea and everybody recommended their store and here's her first plug yay this was so much fun to do i can officially say i love re-rooting dolls oh my gosh so this was just some beautiful black saran hair and some gorgeous red saran hair and so here's the tea though the ink from my tablecloth got all over harley's nose and i wanted to cry so then i fabric tacked the hair in and i got these little accessories to make miss harley's earrings and we gave her some bangs and i added some details in her hair and i got all these little playing cards and individually glued them onto her purse so that took nine million billion years and then it was time to style Miss Harley Quinn's hair. So I put it in some perm curlers and then boiled it so that it really keeps its hold. And I got these really cool stockings on Amazon. I'll link them below. And I also DIY'd all her pets, which was so fun. So here she is, Miss Harley Quinn, based on Amanda Connors' interpretation. I am really happy with how she turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below or who else I should turn into a duel. I used real little itty bitty bells for her details. I wanted to make the purse look like all the playing cards were just falling out of it, like a frozen moment. I also made her mallet, of course. It's iconic. It is so iconic. So here she is. I am just so, so proud. And I'm also very proud of all of her little pets. This is her pet beaver, Bernie. And I DIY'd him as well. I love him. And this is her little dog, Nathan, who's a hot dog. And of course, we have Bud and Lou, the icons themselves darling. I had such a blast making all these incredible toys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on all my other social medias, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!